the Shandong, China's first domestically built aircraft carrier, entered into service on December 17 in South China's Hainan province city of Sanya. The vessel was originally purported by Chinese state media to come equipped with 36 J-15 fighter jets, or three squadrons, and was touted to have a capacity which far surpassed that of Liaoning, China's first aircraft carrier. Internally, Chinese sources claim, the ship is capable of handling up to 36 fighter jets, 12 more than Liaoning. However, Military experts who examined a recent public television broadcast of the Shandong say there were only enough PL and Navy fighter pilots in attendance to make up two complete J-15 squadrons. The standard ratio of carrier-based fighter jets to pilots is 2 is to 3, Beijing-based naval expert Li Jia told the South China Morning Post earlier this week. The Shandong won't have many fighter jets because it is just entering its initial commissioning period. An estimated 30 fighter jet pilots for the carrier's air wing were seen on the Tuesday China Central Television broadcast of Chinese President Xi Jinping commissioning the Shandong. While Li appeared optimistic regarding the future of fighter jet numbers on the Shandong, military expert Zhou Chenming, also based out of Beijing, said the original estimate of three J-15 squadrons is not realistic. The J-15 is quite big and it's impossible for an aircraft carrier to only carry fighter jets," he expressed to the outlet. Joe explained that helicopters play a key role in alerting and watching takeoff and launches of carrier-based fighter jets. They are also needed for rescues and other missions like transporting troops and equipment. The practicality of the aircraft has long been questioned even by the Chinese media, which has in the past referred to the J-15 as a flopping fish due to its limited usefulness to the service. Thank you everyone for watching this video.